Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today we are going to uh, show you and teach you how to pass multiple parameter in uh, action method so, uh, of a controller. So uh, here we have a test controller. Just add a new test controller. And here we have an empty controller. So the controller name is the test controller. Okay, so uh, here we have a test controller and now just we can add a new method. So public I action result get log or you can say uh, get method. And here we have an int ID or you can say that int para meter one comma string parameter two and return view. So how to pass integer parameter one and integer parameter two by using their view? So just add a new view on the index. Razor view. And here we have a template that is uh, empty template. That is a scaffolding generating code. Okay, so now after that we will create a new hyperlink A and here we have a href and in which you can just pass the controller name the first that is test controller and that name is get method and the query string like that. So that parameter one parameter one is one is twelve and uh, Parameter 2 is hello. Okay, so here I'm going to add single quotation. Now, after that, we will go for click. And here we have, or well you can say that there is no need to add single quotation right here. So just save this and just check in, in the controller that is parameter 1, parameter 2 and create a simple debug point right there. So here we have, uh, these are the controller and just I want to get a test controller first. So test index. And here you can see that here we have a click method. When we click on the method, that's uh, just get the parameter values in the con connection string that is 12. And what is the parameter 2? That is hello. Okay, so how to pass that query uh, by the query string? And you notice that here we have a query string values in the uh, bottom left corner. Okay, so that, that is the first method. Now the second method is to use URL action. So uh, here we go for URL action. So that is at the right URL dot action. And inside the action, you can just take string action controller name so string action I mean to say that there is the action name so get method and the next one is the controller name so what is the controller name that is test controller and the next one is t model so new and in which you can just parameter 1 equals to 12 
and parameter 2 equals to hello that is the value here you can pass it here so in the string you can say so here we have a uh, hello value so here we have uh, hello so just use hello okay so here we have a click uh, this method so that is actually it's a part of this and wait for some time okay so uh, that is the url dot action get method but uh, you notice that uh, url dot action here but uh, that is like that so uh, in the get method so just use url dot action the first one is action method the second one is the controller name and the third one is the parameter in the type or term of the object so parameter 1 equals to 12 parameter 2 equals to hello so save this now use it and here you notice that uh, that is test controller and index action method so here we have just when we click on it then you can say that parameter 1 is 12 and that is hello okay that's fine so this is the type 2 by using the url dot action method and that is the hyperlink you can also see and now the third one is by using the grouting so that is the asp action method that is get method the next one is uh, that is asp route and in which you can just say para meter one is hello parameter one is 12 and asp route that is parameter 2 is okay now save this and run it again So here we have a test controller and index matter and just click on the link below you will find that here we have a parameter one that is oops zero because its matching name is the different i think and the parameter two is okay so the parameter one is the different i think so just copy that and okay asp route parameter matter it's not that is the same name okay so its value again you can see and you you can see that uh, that the name is the matched of the ESP route values so ESP route parameter 1 is 12 and the ESP route parameter 2 is okay so now just go for the test controller and index action method just click on it and you will see that parameter 1 is 12 and that is the parameter 2 is okay so let's find now the third one is the how pass object uh, from view to controller so uh, here we have a lots of classes in the model section so here you can say that here we have a lots of classes and like that person have and the section have student have so just now go for the department because a department have only the two ID that is ID and the name just I want to pass ID and the name and also okay and here we have a person also and the lots of data but not actually it's taken in the sample right here so ID and the name and the employee ID so I want to pass it from the test, test index.html 
so you can use thought block right there and where uh, department equals to uh, you can say new uh, department okay and here we have ID is one and the name is IT so I want to pass uh, the department object to the uh, by using the hyperlink methods so the first of all uh, DC uh, first of all serialize that uh, department in the URL so where URL is what that is the test controller the first one is the test controller the second one is uh, get method one okay and the next one is that is a uh, data you can say and what is the data inside it here that is the data is department So that is the URL in the form of the string. So data equals to department. So here we have a department like that. And after that, you can say here we have a where encoded data. And what is the encoded URI component? So JSON dot stringify dot data. That component is used to uh, serialize the data into the encoded data. So just I want to serialize that data first. So there is a no uh, no uh, method right there to use it here okay so JSON convert is mostly compatible JSON convert dot serialize jet and what is the object is right there that is department so here we have encoded data and just I want to pass it here in the so this encoded data and now just when we use here uh, that is the href And what is the that is the at the rate of URL okay when we click on it you can say that that is the test and get method one so uh, that is the test controller and just pass it here copy and paste it here so uh, get method one and here I'm just going to receive data in the form of string and the what is that data because here I'm going to pass in the query string that is data and with the encoded data but in the test controller just I'm going to receive the data uh, but that is the serialized form so where original data is JSON convert dot deserialized object and deserialized object in the form of data to department like that and here we have you can say that department now after that we will go for comment it here save this and there is a no need save all if you want to pass object from a uh, from view to controller then there is a need to serialize the object because only built-in types is actually transferred from uh, view to controller but if you want to send object then serialize object first so here we have a click and here you can say that encoded data and just encoded data in the form of data so here we have data equals to encoded data oops that value is matched with the encoded data so just you can say that here we have encoded data and that is the variable type so make it here so uh,
first of all stop debugging first so if you want to concat that uh, encoded data right there so just use here and plus object right there okay so here we have encoded data and just save this and run it again because encoded data is a serialized object data so serialized object is passed to the uh, our network in the form of test get method one like that so here we have test index and just when we click on it you can see that here we have a data and get method data equals to in the format of the JSON ID is one name equals IT and employee is null so when we click on it you can see that here we have a string of the data like that and now just move ahead to one object and just you can see that here we have a simple department table and that is the original data and here we have a null it and one so if you have any object type of data then first to convert it into the serialized format and serialize is actually convert in the format of the JSON and in the other receiving side you have to just receive a string type of data and string is just convert to the deserialized object in the format of this by using the JSON convert okay so you can simply move the data from uh, view to controller and you can say that here we have a object here we have so uh, that is a very pretty uh, uh, method to pass it from object to the view to controller